Kajal went for a walk in a park and came across this Kung Fu class in action. She decided it was better not to interrupt them or get in the way of their instructor, Sashin Kistasong. Oh. When martial arts is a part of your life for 23 years, it inevitably becomes a part of you. Sachin Kistan Sami is a third degree black belt who's not only inspired by the sport, but by the history, philosophy and way of life. Originally, Kung Fu referred to any form of study, learning or practice that takes time, patience and energy to complete. But now it's synonymous with Chinese martial arts. Sashin has been true to the original meaning in his approach to the classic fighting styles. Sashin, you started off with karate and later went on to train Kung Fu. Why did you decide to do that? Did you want to perhaps conquer different types of martial arts or expand your knowledge? Kajal, I've done karate for 14 years and I just reached a point where I just was searching for a deeper meaning, a deeper understanding into martial arts. Um, another main contributing factor was uh, I was looking to go into full contact. Karate was semi-contact. Uh, Karate had brought me a long way, but I just wanted to take that extra step. You started martial arts at a very young age. What was it that influenced you? Was it watching movies or perhaps someone in your family? You must remember I started karate at the age of five. So back then, all I watched was Bruce Lee movies and that sort of thing. Uh, my dad saw my keen interest in, in martial arts and he started me off at the closest karate school. Thereafter, when I moved over to Kung Fu, I was already into the swing of things. I just kept getting more and more pulled into it. Now it's just part of my everyday routine. Weapons training is only offered to students who have shown the required level of proficiency and self-discipline. Many a time when the phrase health and wellness is mentioned, words like diet and gym come to mind. Yes, it does involve one to keep relatively fit, but the gym isn't the only answer. Taking up a sport as recreation can serve that very purpose, a good workout with like-minded people. Okay, let's do a front kick. Lift my knee. Kick forward. Push it back. Okay. Now you try and get some hip into it. So thrust your hip oh. forward. Actually, this is fun. So how do you prepare for a tournament? Personally, I supplement my training. So uh, to get my cardio up, I'll do some running, do some swimming. Uh, maybe to get uh, reflex up, we'll do some reflex exercises with our friends. And the best way to spar is to spar. So we spar as much as we can. What has been some of your most memorable tournaments? Uh, when I placed third place at the South African Koshu Championships, that was in 2008. Kajal's attention was caught by a colourful sight that we usually associate with festivals. So there's something really interesting going on there. What is that? Uh, Kajal, this is a lion. There are two types of lions. There's the Cantonese lion and there's the Hokkien lion. The one that we do is the Hokkien lion, which is more fierce, resembles a lion itself. It looks really theatrical. Is it used at a specific time or, or at festivals? It's used mostly at festivals. In the lion itself is basically someone doing a form. So it's basically like the kata, so to say, thing that you saw earlier. Uh, but that's what someone is doing in the lion itself. And so it has a lot of martial content as well. I had no idea the person was actually doing a form or a kata in there. Maybe you can show me a simple form and yes. try something perhaps. So let's get you in this. Go on the inside. I'm becoming the lion. You go. Yes. You got it? Yes. That's why. Your I legs, to you go into a bow narrow stance. Okay, there we go. So while you do your cross, you make the lion look behind you on your left. Your cross. Back. Back. And forward. And then forward. Uh -huh. Yes, that's it. Come. We're just putting someone at the back. Yeah, go. As it should be. There you go. There, back. Right, back, forward. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. 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 Wow. My arms are you sore. Be, be, yeah. I think I've had enough lying around. <laughs> it's time to go home. Watching Sashin in action is poetry in motion and definitely a case of action speaking louder than words.